Hey everyone, I'm back again with my second vlog. Um, now we're well and truly into autumn, so I thought I'd bring you something to do with autumn style, most importantly, autumn shoes. For me, autumn's all about thick wools, it's all about tweeds, and there is no better shoe to pair with tweed than a nice brogue. So I've done a little bit of shopping around and I've picked three brogues that I think are gonna be really accessible to everyone. So from a price point of 50 pounds up until a price point of 200 pounds. Um, now I'm gonna give each of them a score out of 10. Now this is gonna be based on their packaging, the quality of the shoe, the comfort, value and styling. Now this will then give them a total score out of 50 and hopefully it'll make it easier for you to decide on which shoe you'd rather invest in. Brogue number one is from Topman. Now the packaging is pretty much what you'd expect. I mean the box is already a little bit battered but it's full of tissue paper, there's no real experience, it's just there to protect the shoe. So my rating for the Topman Brogues, packaging, I'm gonna give it a three out of 10. So next up is quality. Um, now. I will note that these are genuine leather, um, but of the three they are the cheapest. So as you'd expect, the sole is really thin, there's not much in the way of grip underneath. If you wore them regularly, they would really, really wear down. Quality of the shoe, now I'm going to give these a six because they are real leather, they do what they say on the tin, however, personally I think they are a little bit dull. So the comfort is exactly what you'd expect. The sole is quite thin, there is, you know, when I put my hand in here, there isn't really any padding at all. I would probably give these around the six out of 10 because to be honest, I think comfort wise, you can probably do a lot better. Value, now they are real leather, as I mentioned. So for 46 pounds plus shipping, not so bad. However, personally, I think with regular wear in the autumn, these could start falling apart after a couple of months. So I'm gonna get rate them a six out of 10. Finally, the most important for me is the styling. Now these aren't gonna really elevate your suit. They're pretty dull. Um, so for me personally, five out of 10. The final score for the top one broke is 26 out of 50. Now next up, we have a pretty suave looking box from Olive Sweeney. For me, this is premium quality, but with no bells and whistles. So I'm gonna give it seven and a half out of 10. Now these are a much higher quality brogue. As you can see, compared to the top one brogue, they've got really, really good grip. So for the quality of the Olive Sweeney brogue, I'm gonna give it an eight out of 10. So comfort wise, I'm actually a little bit surprised. They are really, really tough. Now these would take a while to wear in. And when you go inside the shoe, actually there's little or no padding at all. Therefore we're gonna give it a five out of 10. You can pretty much guarantee it's gonna be great quality. However, I wouldn't pay above and beyond the odds for it. So at 199 pounds, I'd probably rate the value of these at around the seven. Last but not least, the style. Now, as I've said, these are really, really high quality and they do look great. I think the tan is a little bit bright. Um, unless you were gonna wear like a really bright blue suit, I think these might be a little bit too garish. Um, other than that, they are really nice, so I'm gonna give it an eight. So if you haven't worked it out already, the final score for the Olive Sweeney is a 36.5 out of 50. Now last, but most certainly not least, we have a pair of booking good shoes from Goodwin Smith. Now, I've already had a pair of these shoes and I had to pick another one because I think this is the best packaging experience with a pair of shoes that I've ever had. So when you actually open the box, again, you can tell it's a good pair of shoes because they each come in their own cotton bag. All nice and brandied up, again to keep your shoes safe, just like with the Oliver Sweeney pair. But my favourite part about the Goodwin Smith is that they actually give you experience. It's really important to read this, especially if you're going to invest in a decent pair of shoes for the autumn. Look after them, because obviously you spent quite a bit of money on them. It's worthwhile buying some nice polish, um, some good crepe protect maybe, or some waterproofing spray. Goodwin Smith also give you a mini autumn winter catalogue, which really photographic. And if you're a bit like me, you'll probably read this and end up buying another pair. Finally, Goodwin Smith, I've always got your back. Now, I think this is hilarious and they are a bit out there with their branding, but to be honest, I think they've got it just right. So as their last little gift to us all, they're gonna look after us on the weekend, gentlemen. So purely based on the overall experience, I am gonna go there and give this a 10 out of 10. I tell everyone about that GS packaging and I could talk about it all day, but you know what? It's time we actually look at the star of the show. The Goodwin Smith shoe. Now the main point I'm gonna take from all of this is that I haven't yet really been surprised until I picked this pair up. They are really great quality. They're right on par with the Oliver Sweeney shoe. But what really makes them special is all the little touches that Goodwin Smith have added. So they've taken care of every millimeter of this shoe. First of all, they've stamped the Goodwin Smith stag on the heel. They also have broked the Goodwin Smith logo on the toe cap. And there's also these really nice um, blue leather inners. Now you can see the Goodwin Smith logo there in gold, and also they've put quotes 
on the inside of the lining. So I think this is excellent and I will give them a nine out of 10. One thing we have missed out on so far with the other shoes is the comfort factor. Now hard leather shoes like Brogues do need breaking in. Um, until they get comfortable. So if you're gonna wear them regularly, it's really important to have a little bit of extra cushioning. The Goodwin Smith shoe has a good couple of mils on the sole, and this does really make a big difference when you're wearing them. Comfort factor from me for the Goodwin Smith Bro gets a 9.5 out of 10. Now I said the Goodwin Smith shoe was the star of the show, and the reason for this is its value. Now, as I've said, I feel that they're same look and quality as the Oliver Sweeney's. They're above and beyond the top and ones. Um, they have all these little extra details which I think really makes them an exceptional shoe and guess what they are half the price gents £99 for this pair of shoes it's still quite a bit of money for a lot of people um, but if you really are going to invest in a shoe that is going to last and is going to look good £99 it's a little bit of a no-brainer in my eyes therefore in terms of value gets a 10 out of 10 now if I can recommend one thing I would have a good look through the Goodwin Smith website um, because I think there aren't any other brands out here doing the things that Goodwin Smith are doing. Um, I'm not sure how they're getting away with all of it because some of it is a little bit... Well, I'll tell you what, I'll let you have a look through the site. It is out there, but it is so, so good. I have completely fallen in love with what Goodwin Smith are doing and it really, really does transcend into the shoes that they make. They're sleek as hell, they're a good colour and they're a 9 out of 10 from me. So I think we all know what's about to happen. The Oliver Sweeney shoes are undeniably good quality. However, the value and the style of the Goodwin Smith ones scores them a final score of 47.5. So there we have it. Thank you so much for watching again. Um, listen, I picked those shoes from the rest of the market, so they are all good, but I would really recommend getting to know this Goodwin Smith brand because I genuinely think you will be pleasantly surprised. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, you can get hold of me via Instagram DM if you'd like me to do a different feature. And most importantly, don't forget to invest in a good pair of autumn shoes.